Hi guys, so my name is Carl Veillette. I'm the CTIO at Vimtrack. So today we're going through a few workflows uh, surrounding Vim3CC, uh, Glue, and Vimtrack. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, uh, Vim360 Glue and Vimtrack are uh, providing uh, very different uh, features for, for the users. So first of all, uh, Vim360 Glue is uh, mostly used today um, by stakeholders who are uh, looking for ways to exchange quickly uh, models from Reddit and Atlas Wars. So my, from a model management point of view, uh, this is a very interesting tool. And uh, BIMTRAC is more acting on the communication side of things. So it's making uh, communication instantly available for all the different users working in Reddit and Nidusworks, and it's providing for an efficient way to publish the Nidusworks cache results uh, to Revit, but it's also used um, between different users uh, working in different models uh, to exchange uh, informal communications or uh, issues as well uh, during the design process and the pre-construction process as well. So uh, let's have a look at how uh, this works. So right now I've got um, I've got this model here that is um, stored in BIM three sixty design. Uh, so this is going to be a topic for another uh, webinar, and. Uh, so today we're mostly uh, um, looking at the, the workflow uh, when using the BIM, BIM 360 Glue, which is now um, commonly called the, uh, the classic um, BIM coordination uh, tool uh, in the 360 suite of products. Um, so here, the uh, thing I see is BIM track is loaded on the side here. Uh, so those all are all the, the issues um, loaded from the cloud. So those issues may come from Natusworks. They may come from other Reddit models, for example. Uh, it may also be, those issues can also be raised in different versions of the, the Revit model as well. Uh, so the first piece of the, the first part of the workflow uh, is ready to glue your model. Uh, so this is usually done using um, a, a specific um, view where all the, the visible elements are uh, configured already. Uh, so in terms of uh, consistency, I strongly suggest that you create a view here with a, and create also a view template to make sure that uh, your ex exports are um, kind of consistent uh, across the version and uh, across the users. So uh, the first step is uh, to open that view and then click on glue. Uh, so here you'll have, um, you'll have a choice of existing projects. So in my case, this, uh, those projects were previously created. So I'm gonna click on uh, card dealer here and uh, you can choose which views you want to um, add um, as models uh, in your project. So here I'm going to select my current view, uh, card eater, and click on next. So next step here, uh, you can choose the, the file type. So usually I would choose uh, NWC because I'm doing coordination and works. And then you can add a folder and then you can click uh, glue it. So now the model is going directly in Glue. So now if I switch to the Glue platform here, uh, you can go in your project right here. And then you'll see your uh, model pop up in the list right here. Uh, so it may take a couple of minutes uh, according to your model size. And once this is done, uh, you can select uh, multiple models and create what they call a merge model. So it's basically a federated model. Uh, so when you create your, your federated model, you can kind of um, uh, merge multiple uh, models coming from different disciplines all together for coordination. So this is done using the new merge model button right here. So for the demo here, uh, while this is still processing, I'm gonna jump on Natusworks directly here and show you how uh, how you open an existing uh, model. So if I click on BIM360 uh, tab here, uh, I have this project um, drop down menu here. Uh, and you can choose uh, where is uh, where your model is stored. So mine is stored in the United States. So I click OK like that. And then you'll see the list of uh, project displayed in just a moment right here. So card dealer. So I can see uh, merge models or uh, existing models like that if I have any. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to open this one here, right here. So merge model, so I'm gonna click on my merge model, click open, and now it's opening the Natusworks file from the cloud. 
So the nice thing with this, uh, with 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 the use of Vim 360 uh, Glue is that it's allowing multiple people to work in the same NWF file and to work simultaneously like to the on the, on the same um, uh, clash test and the, the clash resolution itself. So you can sort, you can have like multiple people working on sorting the clashes uh, and switching them to reviewed or approved. And then once you're done um, with your clash sorting, you can log into Bintrack. Sorry, just uh, switch here. So um, bin track, and then you can select your project. So in this case, this is going to be my default project right here. And then you can use this uh, little feature right here called Clash to Issue. And then you can select your your Clash test coming from your, your uh, from the Analysis Works um, standard feature and then uh, choose which ones uh, you want to upload. So here, for example, I've got active clashes, I've got uh, tons of different clashes. So you can select uh, the ones you want here and then you can select which information um, you want to uh, push uh, in the in the, in the, the, the issue description itself. Um, it will also sync the status. So for example, uh, new active and reviewed uh, clashes will be uh, set as open in BIM track and approve and resolve will be set as closed. You can also set additional attributes like that. Uh, so those are very helpful for classifying and sorting the issues by zone, by phase, and all those attributes that doesn't exist in the standard uh, Nidus Works Clash Detective. Uh, and also you can assign those issues to someone so they receive email notifications and uh, immediately they can click on the issue and uh, access it in the web browser or uh, in Revit as well if they're uh, Revit users. You can also set uh, due dates and you get e automatic email reminders a few, uh, a few days before the, the due date itself. Uh, so once those are published uh, and built track, uh, then you can come here and you'll see those clashes displayed here. So you may have to refer and those issues or those clashes will pop up directly here. So uh, very easily, um, you can open, for example, a coordination view or um, any other views and generate uh, what we call the clash uh, pinpoints. So the clash spheres, uh, basically. So if I right click here, show clash sphere, uh, you can use the selection box feature right here and create a box around those uh, clashes like that. So this is, as you can see, really, really quick to uh, retrieve the, uh, the clash location. Um, the, the objects are also uh, saved within the issue itself. Uh, so it's easy, for example, to retrieve. Uh, so if I turn off the, the clashes, uh, spheres like that, uh, you can very easily isolate the, uh, the objects relating to the, the clash. And I can see that the beam right here was causing an issue with uh, other objects surrounding it. Um, so again, you can use the exact same feature, selection box like that, and then restore the view. Uh, to see the the objects surrounding the the beam, and I can see that those like um, curtain walls here are clashing with that. So uh, really, like those two tools are are really working uh, well together. So you're basically using BIM 360 Glue for model exchange and um, collaboration uh, collaboration uh, on NWF files with multiple users, and then once those uh, issues are uh, sorted and ready to communicate, then you're using basically BIM track to send that back to the uh, the Revit modelers, uh, the guys working in the in the in the models themselves to kind of fix those issues and uh, um, solve it. So um, thank you for listening. Uh, it was a quick overview of how Glue and BIM track uh, works uh, together. Uh, so if you have any further questions, uh, just uh, please feel free to. Uh, reach out to us.